Did you remember me? Did you take time to sit and soak in my love? I love you so much that I allowed myself to be killed, not quickly and easily, but an agonizingly slow death so you would know the depth of my love for you. I have experienced the pain of a physical body. I have suffered as some of you are suffering. The only difference is I could have stopped it at any moment. So why didn't I? Because I knew there was a bigger picture. I knew that by going through what I went through many, many more people would learn of a God who is love and light. Many people would know the lengths I was prepared to go to, to show you my love. I conquered death so that you would no longer need to fear it. I showed you that there is life after death. There is a place that awaits you. You don't have to walk this path alone. Just as my father was always with me, so we are with you. The only difference is that at the time of my death my father had to abandon me so I would know what the people of earth felt when they allowed themselves to be cut off from us. That moment was more agonizing than anything that had gone before. That you don't ever have to feel abandoned, as my father momentarily broke the contact with me so that you would never have to face that. I took that on for you. I spent three days in darkness fighting to re-establish that connection. Once it was restored, I rose again so you would know, without a doubt, that you never have to face being abandoned by God. We are always there for you, but we won't force ourselves on you. You have to ask, to call out to us for connection, for help. Once you have learned to live in that connection, you will know you are never alone and if momentarily you feel you are then you will understand that it is only a perception that your pain or fear has moved you away from me so that you cannot feel me. Every day you make a multitude of choices, for each one ask, am I responding or reacting in love or fear? If you choose love you will feel me closer and closer. If you choose fear, I am still here. It is just that you have turned the other way and can't see me. As humans on this planet at this time you have come to rely on your feelings and emotions. I want you to learn a new way, a way of trust and surrender. When you have a feeling or emotion, don't push it away. Hold it gently as you would a child. Allow yourself to feel how it feels. Name the feeling. Ask the feeling what it is trying to show you or tell you and then release it with love. This is a way you can allow me to be with you, guiding you, leading you. You don't have to walk alone, but the choice is yours. I love you and want to help you. Will you let me? As always, I love you.